you go. That is one thing going on. All right. Now, the other thing that I want to give you all an update on is in regards to chargebacks on this channel. All right. I mentioned this last week because it hit me pretty hard last week. Right in the middle of last week, I received over $200 of PayPal chargebacks for tips from back in April. Okay. This sucks because when chargebacks happen, uh, you half the time cannot really do anything about it. It depends on so many different factors. The nature of the chargeback, the size of the charge, how the ch how the actual tip was given, like what, what fi financial institution was involved, the nature of the chargeback, because there are different ways things can be charged back. So I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty of it because you guys don't need to know that at all. And quite frankly, the less publicly known, the better, because you don't want idiot trolls out there to try to figure out ways to do it, right? But basically, it hit the channel hard last week. It sucked. But you guys rallied, and I had a, a, a solid last few days of streaming last week. And overall, I can tell you, it hasn't been that bad. Um, hopefully, you know, it won't impact the channel that badly at all. But now, just so you guys know, I've gotten wind from somebody else who has been kind of monitoring the situation that, of course, my detractors are so stupid, they can't just do something without publicly talking about it. Because that would be, like, smart. You understand? They always have to brag about what they're doing to hurt me even if it's an outright crime. Now, don't worry. They'll never get prosecuted for it because they're anonymous on the internet, which is the only reason why they do this shit. They're pussies, okay? But, yeah, they brag about it and talk about it all the time. They're just so dumb, all right? In this case, the reason I'm bringing it up is because they are actually planning more chargebacks and they are actively trying to hurt this channel by making it look like it's doing better than it is. So allow me to explain, okay? <clears throat> You may have noticed this last week already. We're three days into the streaming week, correct? You may have noticed that in the last few days, I've hit a bunch of tips goals, all right? Now, I'm not saying that that's abnormal or anything. Sometimes I hit tips goals around here. But I'll be honest, yes, yesterday, as I'm doing my React streaming day, which is a thing that I'm going to update you all on because it went pretty well, I'm wondering how it's going to go. And then all of a sudden, I start getting tips during the streams, some of which are people I recognize, some of which are people who are kind of newcomers in the last few weeks, but they've been a good part of the streams. And then I start getting tips that are completely anonymous. No name attached, no message attached, nothing. And a tip comes in like that, and you don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not going to discredit it. I'm going to shout it out and say thank you. But you never know if those are legit or not. Sometimes they're completely legit. It's just a viewer who wants to contribute but doesn't want to shout out because they're afraid of harassment on the internet or getting doxxed. And they're like, I'm just going to do it anonymously. Perfectly fine. And I totally understand that. And I really appreciate that because that helps things a lot and it keeps you safe. But at the same time, you have to be skeptical, right? When you're getting those kind of contributions and <clears throat> you're, you're like, I don't know if this is going to be real or not. You know, you, you count it, you shout it out, you say thanks, but you never know what's going to happen with the chargeback. So basically what's happening is this. If you haven't noticed the last few days, there's been a few days when I'm hitting either the 50 or $100 tip skulls. And even to some extent, the other day I had, I remember I had the vest on and everything. It was like crazy over the top levels of support, right? So what's happening is these morons are now publicly saying they, they did this on purpose. They're coming to various streams and dropping a, a $20 tip here, a $30 tip here. Someone even said they did a $50 tip. And it's all anonymous, and they're planning on charging it back later. Now, you might say, well, I don't get it. Why would they even bother doing that? All it does is it makes it look like you're doing better, and you get perks, and everyone's happy. Well, here's what they're doing. They do it on purpose because when it looks like I'm doing good on a stream, other people who are legit supporters might say, oh, okay, Phil's doing all right today. So I don't need to really contribute today. They'll come back later in the week and see if it's a slower stream, and I'll, I'll help them out there. In fact, no exaggeration. A fan actually wrote me an email and said, that's exactly what happened this week. There was a stream where they were coming by and they actually liked the stream and they wanted to support, but they saw that I had already hit all the tip skulls. So they said, all right, you know, I'll, I'll hold off. I'll come back later in the week. And then come to find out these detractor idiots are bragging publicly. Oh yeah, I, I tipped on that stream and I'm going to just charge him back later in the week. So he would have gotten more, but we screw him over now. You see? So that's what they're doing. They're basically trying to make it look like I'm doing better than I am. So that way people are fooled. And then they hit me on the back end, all right? Why am I telling you this? Because I just want you to be aware that it's happening. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking for any change in behavior from you whatsoever. I just want you to know that this is going on actively. 
and that when you see things going on on YouTube, it's not always as it appears. You know, a lot of these people say, oh, I track every single dollar that comes in from a content creator. And so I know that they make this and this and this. It's totally untrue. There's always a behind the scenes world of chargebacks, fees, um, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. <clears throat> Half the time, anyone who's tipping me less than, say, $5, I'm getting significantly less than what you're even seeing. Remember that PayPal has a flat fee that they take per transaction plus a percentile of each transaction. If you tip me a dollar, I get like 60 cents, if that. It depends on where you're from, what region. So there's all these factors involved. And then I, I'll be, you know, I do get chargebacks all the time. I really do. I just don't talk about them publicly. But the reason I brought it up last week is because it's very abnormal to be getting that much of a hit of a chargeback all at once. And yeah, that definitely hurts the channel when it happens, okay? So FYI, don't make judgments just based on what you see up front because it may not be true, you know? Just saying, you know, and listen, to the person who wrote me that email, I really appreciate that message because now I know what's going on. And <clears throat> absolutely now I kind of understand the nature of what's happening and why they're probably doing it. Well, hopefully talking about it like this and spreading awareness at least we'll have some people, uh, you know, know what's going on. And hey, if you come by and you like the content, please support it. And, you know, if you want to hold off on supporting, you could do that too. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just be aware that what you see isn't always what you get, right? You know, we may be having a great time on a stream, celebrating with perks and having a good time. And we'd be looking silly in a vest and a hat and, and going, you know, having a great stream. And the next thing you know, later in the week, it all got taken away from me. And that sucks. And I'm not saying that's happened yet. It hasn't, but it very well could. And again, if these idiots weren't so dumb to publicly talk about and announce what they're doing, I wouldn't even know. But they're so dumb, they literally do. They post it on Kiwi Farms. They talk about it on Discords and in video comments and shit like that. I mean, they're moronic. They just can't get enough of bragging about committing crimes. Because when you commit a fraudulent chargeback, it is a crime. You've actually broken the law. Just the fact that it's not prosecuted on the internet doesn't mean you didn't commit a crime. It just means you got away with it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So anyway, 